Hello, welcome back to my channel. So, I was just playing around with Blender and I made this really cool design for backgrounds. And I want to teach you how to do it. It's really easy. So, I'll just start by creating a new file. Here. And I will add a plane. And that's the only object we need. <laughs> so, First, we will go here to the modifiers and then add a modifier. It will be a subdivision surface. We'll keep it as simple. So, be careful if your computer can't handle this, don't do it. But I'm going to put this up to 10 and this up to 11. So, we'll get a lot of resolution. Now, we'll go to the shading tab and we'll start by making our texture. I always keep this one at cycles, so this is like my my station to work, and this one I will do in material preview, which is EV, and I will remove the scene lights and scene world, so, and this one I will do the same, so right over here, I will disable those two, oh, and over here, oh, Okay, it was already done. Okay, so we'll go over here. Select the plane and add a new material. So we will keep the principal BSDF here. And we'll come here to the material properties. And settings. And this on the displacement. Remove bump only and put displacement only. So because bump won't work. On this project and make sure you're in cycles so over here you need to be in cycles so you just change the cycles and now we will first change the base color so we can see what we're doing so I'm going to put a noise texture and put the factor on the base color and then I'll put a color ramp and on the linear i'll put oh before i'll just add a lot of new ones i think that's good and i'll put it constant and i will remove this white value now just mess around with those so i'll start by messing around just with the first one so we can see a little bit of black so that's good and then we need to see a little bit of the next color. So that's good. And then the last one, just on top. Yeah, so this is like how you want to be. And then we'll get a displacement node. But right up here. And put the color into the height. And then the displacement into the surface. No, onto the displacement. So now we have this. And if you want, you can put another color over here and change this until you get a really low value so we don't get that much high height. So I'll put something like this is good or if you want you can just change this value so you can just the other way to do you just plug this one in here and change those values to a darker one so i'll just zoom out and change this to a darker one because the darker it is the less height is going to be so i'll just make this in order because i kind of messed up here so yes that's good and this one i'll bring a little bit down i am got just a little base of it this one i think it can go a little bit higher yes like this yeah that's perfect so I will just remove this color ramp 
and if you don't want black and white you need to get another color ramp so i'll get another color ramp and plug right in the, this one and now you will get just get the white and bring it until you can see that there is white and the black you can change it to whatever color you want i'll go all the way up or almost all the way up just over here and i on my original project i did an orange red really fair looking and if you bring this more here more to this side you see you won't get that much white so no not so much contrast contrast so I like to keep really close to each other and yeah that's really good so now for the camera and everything else I'll just start by adding lights an area light and bring it on shift Z so you keep on the floor and bring right over here so yeah on this part of the plane and now you can add your camera so where is it camera and press control out number pad zero so camera will, the camera will be where you're looking at and then you will change from perspective to orthographic and bring it closer until you like it now I'll go to render view and you see it's almost the same as the other one and if you want you can change the Y so you can see the height on the original on the final render so you just grab it until you can see everything again so the more you up this value the more you will see the height of everything so I'll just put this oh, I just bring the camera closer so I think I changed this value too much <laughs> so point 0.1 I think is good and then try to find everything yeah. so yes now it's working properly <laughs> I'll bring it so you can't see the, the floor or anything so that's good and then uh, if you want you can add depth of field and then you add uh, you come here and you can add an object or an empty I'm going to choose a sphere to scale a lot down because everything is really small on the scene so we'll focus object on the empty and now if you mess around just the settings and the other things you can see it will work better so i'll come here and change this until i get some focus but not that much on the other parts so so that's good that's good yeah so I, i'm just focusing over here but not over there and if you want you can still move around this so you get different places but I think I'll leave it right there it's really good so now if you want more resolution on your scene you can come over here and choose 4k I think I'll do that so you'll just click it and it will change what the resolutions will be like and I'll keep it up PNG because that's my normal what I normally use and just press F12 and then after a little bit when you see there is not anything happen on the screen you just come up here to image and then save as when it's done so you just need to wait until everything's done and that's it thanks for watching so we just got this final result it's just denizing everything and 
Why this is not icing? I just want to talk about my patron. It is still out. There are still five people who can join the red GUI. And oh, we're done the render. So yeah, that's how you get this cool render. The only problem is right here. You can see it, it isn't working as well. Is because we will need a lot more subdivision for this but I think it's really good so yeah that's it that's how you do this project that's how you make this so uh, I see you guys in the next video